Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, in June 20, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button above them to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, which is was down roughly more than 2%. It did pull back quite a quite a bit at the end of the US session, and uh, it hit the 50 moving average down here, give or take uh, 4,238. We, the market doesn't look very good at the moment. Um, still, major support is holding at the 50 moving average. We have been here before. We actually have broken below and then continue this rally. But there are other things that are kind of worrying. Uh, one of it's, it's basically the bond market is falling off a cliff down roughly a 10-year bond is down more than 8%. And then we have the VIX that is up roughly 25%. And you also have the US dollar that is appreciating. And all those things kind of sends a signal that we're probably going to see um, a continuation of this, uh, this basically breakdown. But at the moment, still, the 50 moving average is holding. And as long as that is the case, we basically can bounce from here. If we break below this, we're going to target the previous lows here at the 4,138 and then probably all the way down to 4,000 where the 200 moving average will most likely have ended up at that level. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD has crossed the signal line. It's very bearish at this point. Stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. And with this speed, we'll approach oversold conditions fairly soon. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones uh, hit uh, the bottom of the bullish band and then bounced. Uh, so a little bit of bounce, uh, 33,735 is where we ended up. And now we're trading at roughly 34,000K. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the uh, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. And if we manage to take out these candlesticks here, then we're probably going to drop towards the 32.5K. And the 200 moving average is just underneath. So, yes, we have been here before. This is very recently where we fell quite drastically in the Dow Jones and then continue rallying. Uh, but it is to be seen whether or not we take out these kind of six here and then we can drop further. If we bounce from here, then we basically need to break above the 50 moving average in order to go back towards these previous highs. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ did drop quite a bit below the 20 exponential and then rallied and then ended up right at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators for the Nasdaq are looking dreadful. So Nasdaq has been rallying since 12,930 and all the way up towards 15,000 and um, hasn't really broken below the 20 exponential bottom of the bullish band since. And it's kind of about time that we basically go and visit the 15 moving average. And that's probably where we'll end up at least in the beginning. If we break below the 50, then we'll probably target the 200 moving average, which will get us fairly close to these lows here. The 200 moving average is down here at the 13, uh, 13K, and after that, then we're looking at a massive drop to the downside. First of all, 50 moving average. If that holds, then it's probably a pretty um, good buy on, the, buy on the dips there. We also have major resistant uh, support around this area here where the 50 moving average is to write it up around the previous highs over here and we can see that the 50 moving average is right at that level so if we drop below to that point that should be very uh, a very supported level and we can basically bounce from there otherwise break below this then we are looking at the 200 moving average you can see the MACD is crossing the signal line. Stochastic is also bearish. And the RSI is also bearish. A lot of room still to the downside. So let's look at the German DAX. So European indices completely fell off a cliff. And it's fairly very worrying that you basically drop this far below the bottom of the bullish band. And at the end of the session only basically rally this bit. That is not a very good sign for, for this market. So if you look at MACD, it's bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is RSI. We are entering the negative territory, so we're basically going into a downtrend for, for the DAX. And we may rally here 
uh, we're most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average and rallies probably will go up towards uh, 15,480 give or take and or the previous candlesticks here and then drop lower um, don't see this really recovering at this point if we drop below the 15 uh, 15k then we're probably going to target the uh, the 200 uh, moving average so let's look at the uk FTSE and uh, uk FTSE it first of all it gapped down and then dropped all the way down to 6805 before recovering just a bit and that is not a very a good sign for the FTSE we are way below the bottom of the bullish band, significantly overstretched, and you're on the edge of being oversold as well. MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and the RSI, of course, is bearish as well. So we may see this rally, but probably up towards the top of this candlestick. If we continue, then the 520 moving average is probably going to move this way, and 7,000 will probably. Uh, offer massive resistance as it was massive support in the past at this point the 6750 looks like it's going to be the next level and then the 200 moving average is definitely going to be supported when we get there so china china 50. so compared to the european indices and nothing really interesting happened here so we did drop below the 300 moving average and then rallied and up in green at this point, it, this has been just been battered to a crisp compared to the other indices. So it was about time that we found some support, which we have done, done at the 300 moving average. If you look at the MACD, it's still bearish. The stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So break below here, then 16,000, 15,000 will most likely come into play. And the rallies will probably be uh, sold into around the... Uh, 17,000 level at the 20 exponential moving average. So, hope you find this helpful. You'll support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.